Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be our short hockey video of the Ponky Take Edition as we talk about Adam Huska played, excuse me, um, with the Maine Mariners in the ECHL and worked his tail off to become the 710th player. We're going to be doing a one on Christian Rubens next about how he was the 709th before Huska was caught up for the Toronto Maple Leafs and is playing solid with them as a big boy defenseman there. But Huska, after playing very good, uh, having a 920 save percentage, didn't do great against the Phantoms yesterday, but their team <clears throat> didn't protect him that well against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. He's doing very well for Harford and had a very solid, not a great season, but he had a great season in three games, and not a season, but a great stretch in a couple games in Slovak before coming back, and then was solid last year and put up more backup numbers. But with Maine in a three-game stretch, he was very good. When he came up for Harford, then he put up backup numbers again. And then this year, he's just really emerging and coming into his own as a former seventh-round pick by the New York Rangers, only 24 years old, just entering his prime age. Uh, he's a guy that's definitely a very capable third goaltender. In his first game, he didn't look all that hot, but he also faced one of the best teams in the league. Um, and the Rangers did not really protect in front of him all too well in that particular affair. So I think Adam Huska has a chance to be a very good third goaltender. It's now seeing if he can move up from being that very good third goaltender to a very solid AHL starter. It looks like he's developing into this season and be a very good player, just like we've seen Quick be in the past, Bennington be now, and other goaltenders in this league that have once sold the ECHL and developed their game all the way up to the NHL level, which is quite possible because, like I said, he's a 710th guy. It's not like there's just been a handful of guys. There's been a bunch of guys that have done it. And it was nice to see Adam Huska get his chance. And he didn't have a good first game, but the team didn't have a good first game in front of him at all when he played in his NHL debut. And that's not what you want to have, but the Rangers overall are having a very good season. I feel like if he comes back up, we will have a much better performance. And it's something that when he get, goes up, and even though he had a bad game, he now knows some things he needs to work on even more down in the minors. And I think it's just all but going to help him, and he's going to continue to have success and be that third goaltender for um, a, a New York Rangers team that always seems to have a third goaltender in, in the toolbox there, <clears throat> where now they have Gorgiev and obviously have Shostakhin, who's one of the best in the league, and is probably going to play if we do go to the Olympics um, with Team Russia. But now you have Adam Huska as well, who's developing very good as a seventh-round pick from 2015, so you can never have enough goaltending. The Rangers have an extra guy in Huska, killing it with the Horford Wolfpack, and then he's going to get a chance, I would think, once at some point to probably be the backup of Igor Shesterkin because it, obviously Gorgiev has been in trade rumors all the time. Maybe it's even this year he gets moved if he keeps kicking butt in the minors and they try to see what Huska can do. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed this short video on Adam Huska being the 710th guy from the ECHL to get a chance in the NHL. Peace out, everybody.